Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today we'll be talking about the iscopy command or the secure copy command. So are you ready? Let's get started. So actually iscopy is a command that allows you to transfer files between two machines using the SSH protocol. So it's a very secure way to transfer files between two machines. And today I will show you how you can transfer uh, files between your Windows machine and Linux server. So first let me download it. So you fire up your Google and you just type PuTTY. And you go to the PuTTY downloads page. And just in the middle you can see here you can download this program called PuTTY Scopy. Actually, it's command line. Me, I just downloaded it to my desktop, as you can see here. So you cannot, you cannot just uh, down, uh, double click it in order to execute the program, but you must use your command prompt windows in order to execute this command. So I will open my command windows prompt, as you can see here and then i go to the directory where i download my pscopy application so here is it is on my desktop so i go to my desktop cd desktop and then i can execute this command line i just type pscopy and hit enter as you can see i have a bunch of options here and how to use this command so I will leave that just for a moment and I'm going to open PuTTY in order to connect to my Linux server. So I just double click my PuTTY program. PuTTY is a very famous program for connecting using the SSH protocol to any Linux server. So in the host name I will tap just the IP address of my Linux machine. 192.168.1.250 okay so i will use just uh, root login and password in order to connect to my machine so login as root and password as you can see now i am in my linux box so for example if i go to a directory here MNT desk file for example and I've, I just want to show what exists in this directory so I'll execute the common list ls so as you can see here I have a bunch of files and also directories here so I will leave it just like this now I will try to upload this file here called overview.doc from my windows machine to my linux here to this directory called disk5 okay and in order to do that in very secure way we use this application that we have just downloaded called pscopy or putty secure copy so I will return back to my uh, Windows command prompt here. Okay. So in order to do that, it's very simple. Now, as you can see here, I'm in desktop directory. So my file also reside in this desktop directory. So I will just type this command, ps copy, then space, then the name of the file I want to upload, which is our view, our view doc. Then here space. Then the login that I have used in order to connect to my Linux machine, which is root at the IP address of my Linux box. As you can see here, it's 192.168.1.250.
then column then I have to provide the full path of the of the directory I want to upload this file here as you can see here if I return back it's mnt slash disk 5 so I will just type slash mnt slash disk 5 then I hit enter as you can see here it's asking me for the password in order to log to log in to my Linux box so I'll just type my password as you can see the file now is being uploaded and the upload is successful to verify that I will go to my Linux machine and I will show again what is in this disk 5 directory by issuing the command ls or list as you can see now here I have uploaded this document overview.doc so it's very useful command if you want to upload or download files from Linux machine if I want for example to do the reverse thing I will show you how let me first delete this file that exists here in my desktop so I will delete it okay now I will try to download file from this Linux machine to my Windows desktop so as you can see here I am in the desktop directory all I have to do is to reverse the path so in order to download the file from my Linux box it's very easy all I have to do is to reverse the options so I will just type my command here party is copy then this time I will begin by the path of the document I want to download from the my Linux box so I'll just type the login root and the IP address of my Linux box colon then the full path as you can see here it's mnt slash disk 5 and the name of the file which is overview.doc so in order to download the file you have to know the full the exact full path of that file overview.doc then space then where I'm going to download it so here I'm going to download it to to this current directory so I'll just type dot slash which means the current directory which is desktop and then I hit enter it's very simple and it asks me, me for the password because I'm connected to the Linux box as you can see it's getting downloaded and my document return back to the desktop so it's a very useful command that you can use instead on FTP in order to download files or upload files in a very secure manner using the SSH protocol. As always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!